Now, we could go through a lot of other problems of Kamala Harris's economy, but it's not just that Kamala Harris has a terrible record, it's that Kamala Harris doesn't even know how to talk about what she wants to do. And I, I will tell you that as much as I disagree with our illustrious Vice President, I will say one thing on her behalf, that every time she gives an interview, I think she does me and Donald Trump a big favor. I think we gain about 50,000, maybe 100,000 votes. Because remember, as much as she tries to run away from Joe Biden, as much as she tries to run away from all of the disastrous policies the last four years, occasionally Kamala Harris will make the mistake of telling the truth. And it usually will come up in the forum of one of these softball interviews. I don't know if you've seen Kamala Harris. She does not that many hard interviews. I think she's only done one, maybe, since the entire campaign started. And of course, you know, me and Donald Trump, we go everywhere. We talk to everybody because the people who want to lead you ought to go out and earn your vote, not be expected to just be given your vote. I think that's common sense. But, you, you know, Kamala Harris, during an interview with The View a couple of weeks ago, actually, actually kind of gave away the ball game a little bit. And again, she does pretty much only softball interviews. But the problem with a softball interview is that you've still got to be able to hit a softball. And I, and I don't know that Kamala Harris can hit a t-ball based on some of the conduct that we've seen over the last few weeks. Because remember, she's trying to say that she's had nothing to do with the policies of the last four years. So they give her the ultimate slow pitch right over the middle. They say, what would you have done differently? Name one thing that you would have done differently than Joe Biden. And she says, nothing comes to mind. Now, to be fair, I do think that could be the slogan of the Harris Waltz campaign, <laughs> nothing comes to mind. But but, but there's a serious truth behind it, which is that if you can't name anything different that you would have done over the last four years, then how can you run on being the candidate of change? How can Kamala Harris stand before the American people and claim that she is going to fix the affordability problems that she herself caused? How can she say that she's going to secure the border when she herself opened the border? How can Kamala Harris say that she's going to bring peace back to the world when it's her weakness on the world stage that has invited chaos and war to break out all over the globe? And the answer, my friends, is that she can't. So in eight short days, I'd like you to help me and join me in saying you're fired to Kamala Harris. Go back to San Francisco where you belong.